Hey guys, as requested by some of you, I'm gonna be watching some videos of girls reacting to Kamala Harris losing the election in the US. Just to be clear, I don't care about any elections on this earth. It's all a show for the slaves. This one more so than others. I'm sorry! No! 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 <laughs> it's hard to tell if she's acting or not. Um, who knows? <laughs> a lot of them are pretty mentally unstable. I wouldn't be surprised if it's real. Why? Why? Do you really hate me that bad? I swear to God, if you idiots elect that demented man, I will burn this whole fucking place to the ground. <laughs> it's, it's really over the top. And uh, that's funny that she calls Trump demented. If she was a Joe Biden supporter before, which we could assume that she was. America is full of idiots. The dumbest people in the whole world. What is wrong with you? She's not wrong. Um, it's definitely the most brainwashed people on earth. And uh, them believing that one side is good, no matter which one you choose, already shows you the state of the people there. What is happening? <laughs> At least I can cry about it and know that I lost. You guys still think you won in 2020? <laughs> Idiots! If you sat there and you voted for Trump, a felon, over Kamala, because she was a woman, you're disgusting. It is interesting that he had the felony charges, uh, which he's still trying to appeal. It's interesting that felons in the US can't vote, but you can still become a president. It's all irrelevant anyway at the end of the day, as I said, but um, still interesting. Disgusting. You're disgusting. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Firstly, she's crying as if somebody just died. Uh, really, as if a family member died. That's how over the top it is. It's really not normal. It really shows you that the people are not stable. It shows you that you're not healthy hormonally. It really says more about the society and that you need to change your diets and get off the pill and uh, all the hormone disruptors and it's also funny that the dog is there to comfort her not uh, a boyfriend no children which again it, it's a generalization but it does highlight really the state of the people there especially on that side this next one was also part of the compilation but there's no reference to Kamala Harris here, and I've seen other clips being used which were filmed years ago. Maybe somebody just put it in there. Maybe it was unrelated to it. Maybe somebody can tell me. Stop! Stop! Uh, <laughs> if this actually is a reaction to her losing, it's just so dumb. Uh, you really don't understand anything. Uh, it, it really makes no difference in the end anyway. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> Let's just hope that this was a reaction to something else and it's just a false clip. See, that's why I'm recording. Because the cops ain't gonna believe this shit. I wonder what he means, the cops ain't gonna believe him because uh, if they would come then they would say that he was the troublemaker usually the guy is the one who's blamed in such a situation maybe that's what he meant i just texted my best friend my best friend of 14 years literally half of my life i'm 28 and i asked them who they voted for they said donald trump 
And they said, I'm assuming you voted the opposite. And I said, yes. And then my friend texted me and said, will you still be my friend? The reason she asked you if you will still be her friend is because she's assuming that you are too unstable and that you choose so-called friendships over who you vote for in a stupid election or what kind of uh, values you have. Okay, that's at least somewhat understandable, even though it's also nonsense. But uh, all of this superficial stuff, which should not matter in a friendship, because if you're actually friends with somebody, then you're friends for life. In nature, you have your family. Those are your best friends. And nothing could ever separate you. You thinking about not speaking with her again, I, I just assumed that here, it seems like it, we'll see what else she says, already shows that you're not uh, stable emotionally, that you're probably hormonally sick. That's, of course, not what she thinks. But she understands that you choose friendships over something stupid like this, whereas she probably wouldn't, which is why she asked that. Half of my life, this person is my best friend. The silence, again, it's as if somebody died. Understandable, though, because when you lose a friend, which she didn't in this case, she chose it, but you could say that, then it is sort of as if somebody dies because they are not there anymore in your life. Really, there's no difference in that sense. If somebody's gone, then they are gone. Whether they died or whatever happened, the feelings are really the same. Knowing that they are still out there and still alive doesn't change that they are not there right there with you. The pain is basically the same. Yeah, it's just that she chose it. Who can she blame? <laughs> That's why it's stupid. <laughs> Again, completely over the top. <laughs> you would expect this if one of your parents died. <laughs> no, man. Or like from a horror movie where you're hiding in the closet in the dark and you're afraid that he's going to find you. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so... Do, uh, I don't even know what to say. This <laughs> can't be real. This <laughs> can't be real. <laughs> I'm sorry to all my friends who are trying to support you. I don't understand how scared of this man I am. Scared? Why scared? I could understand a lot. She could make a lot of good points, but I don't get the scared part. And I don't say a word to y'all because I try to keep politics out of my friendships because I don't want... Hmm, that's good. Uh, not like the other one. Yeah. Why would it have anything to do with a friendship anyway? How is it even related to a friendship? There's nothing to do with it. If that decides if you're going to be friends with somebody, then you were never friends. That's it. And then it's good that you part ways. My beliefs and your beliefs to mess up our friendship because that's something different. <laughs> this man scares the shit out of me and now he's fucking president. <laughs> oh my god. All that I really get out of these videos is that they are very unstable <laughs> that's it and not 
pretty much none of these are normal reactions. None of them actually, yeah. I would have a lot to say about this selection, but unfortunately you're not allowed to talk about it on YouTube. What you mostly get out of these videos is that these women are emotionally unstable, biochemically sick, and that's because of the unnatural food that people eat in the United States, but also in most parts of the earth today, unfortunately. Of course, the food in the US is really worse than in other countries. Of course, you could get good food there, but when you look at what people mostly eat, it's absolute garbage. You have all of the hormone disruptors. A lot of women are on the pill. I don't know the statistics. I wouldn't be surprised if it's most of them. The young women, which is what you saw here. No families, dogs to comfort them. It's just exactly what you would expect. <laughs> As I said, uh, if somebody very close to you dies, okay, that would be a natural reaction. Uh, somebody losing a meaningless election in your country, which doesn't exist. <laughs> it shows that you're not stable whatsoever. This is not normal. <laughs> There's very few cases in nature, in a natural scenario, so to speak, where you would actually react like this, where you would be insanely afraid, crying nonstop, and all of this. It means that you put a lot of hope into this human being, and uh, if you did, then... Um, you fell for the trap. It doesn't matter which side it was. That's really what you should get out of this video. Thanks for watching.